think as a philosophical thing, you can't view this proposal in isolation. You've got to view it in the context of you've got CP153 there, you've also got the TASA proposals as well. So my view is that on the one hand you've got CP1212 saying we've already got to, uh, to bachelor degree standard. But on the other hand you've got CP153 which says, oh, we might require you to study anything, you can do whatever you want to sit the national exam. So it all goes back to the PJ, PJC report, um, the CTA thing they did last year, and they said it was all around ethics and skills. I think that's the major, major issue which is sort of face industry is the whole, the whole ethical conduct piece. And I think that it's, you know, I, I'm, to be honest, I actually agree with a lot of the actual additional inclusions they want to include as part of the, prog uh, part of the uh, CP212 proposals in terms of those particular knowledge areas. I actually enforce that. I just think that ASIC need to work out themselves uh, what they're trying to achieve because they've got one piece of consultation paper which says you can do by any means to sit in the exam and they've actually presented the exam as a fait accompli, which I actually don't agree with because I don't think it actually assesses uh, skills nor ethics. And then on the other hand, you've got this proposal saying we all have to get to bachelor level. So you've got two divergent things and there's no agreement and you've got TASA chucked in the middle of it which is another third thing we need to consider. So before we answer the whole, do we need a degree standard level of training or education, I think ASIC need to get clear about what they're trying to achieve and you've got three pieces of what I call mixed proposals. Mm. Can, I, can I just mm. add to that? I think um, it's absolutely right. Uh, what we're concerned about, there are a number of mo moving parts at the moment and um, uh, they incorporate the Taxation Services Act requirements uh, that are still not bettered down, uh, as Stephen said, CP153 and how that intersects with uh, these new requirements. Uh, and uh, the fact that this is looking at a degree qualified components rather than a degree, an approved degree qualification. Uh, and from a professional sense, uh, particularly if we're dealing with eth ethics and standards, uh, then uh, you know, what needs to happen is that we line up behind a professional framework, uh, that that professional framework has entry standards, which is, in our case, an approved degree requirement. Uh, it has certification then at a, a master's level, a higher level, so five years at a master's level, uh, followed by or including three years uh, supervised experience. So, um, you know, that's the, that's the ultimate pathway to get to uh, not only competencies but professionalism um, in incorporating your ethics standards and signing up to a code of professional conduct and standards and ethics. Um, and I mean that's the complete view and that is the vision and that is the future and if we work back from that then how as an industry and how as regulators can we actually work towards that uh, ultimate objective.